I'm Dee Baino. I am a real-time captioner with AmeriCaption Inc. I have been a real-time captioner for 17 years and prior to that I was a freelance reporter for three years. So I have been in the field of stenography now for 20 years. I'll first say that I consider myself very lucky to have found this profession and um, that I pursued it successfully. I've never been bored and I cannot imagine myself doing anything else for a career. Um, I went to the University of Florida straight out of high school for, and for two years and after obtaining my Associates of Arts degree I then went to school to become a court reporter. I guess I wish I would have known I never would have had long fingernails again. Um, some people can do it, I can't. So my fingernails are very short. But on a more serious note, um, I wish I had known that I need to know so much stuff. Um, I would have paid more attention in high school to social studies or um, even the world events that were going on as I was growing up because the more stuff you know, the more you're going to recognize it when you're, when you're listening to it and you're taking it down. It's, it's easier to process it. Um, so, and, and knowing the more stuff you know, it ultimately helps with your speed because you're very familiar with some terminology and it just takes away the delay. It's the home office, without a doubt. I would say don't slack on learning your theory. That's very, very important. You have to get a very, very solid foundation. So learn your theory thoroughly. Um, the second thing is don't don't um, make silly briefs you, you, that you'll never remember. You want to um, form your own pattern of shorter writing. Um, that way with the, you, you develop something that you'll remember and it will just blossom. And then that ultimately will help your speed, and that will help you get to the next level. But very important to learn your theory thoroughly. Um, you must also be dedicated and motivated. And if you're not dedicated and motivated in school, you know, it's good likelihood you might not be dedicated and motivated once you're in the career. And uh, if you're not in your career dedicated and motivated, you're going to be disappointed that you're not making the kind of money that you thought you would make. Honestly, I became a captioner because I was homesick. I was living and working in Erie, Pennsylvania as a freelance reporter, and um, my friends and family were back at home. So I looked in the JCR, and there was a, an opening for a real-time captioner in a county that was close to my hometown. So I flew down, interviewed, tested, and I was offered the job. and. The rest is history. I, I came down and I would write government meetings. Uh, I, I did that for about three solid months. And I would write the meetings and I would go back and edit them and build my dictionary. And then it was off to the airwaves. Well, probably the most interesting story is that I married my career, literally. My husband Jack is a uh, real-time captioner and he is the owner and president of AmeriCaption. So together we're, to, we're together 24-7, working and living our life. Um, and as a cart provider, when you have the opportunity to go out in the field and work one-on-one -on -one with the people that you're providing the, the service to, just, just to see how happy they are, you know, the, the, the thanks that they give you and, and just knowing um, what you're doing, you're their ears for them. I mean, that, that is tremendous right there. I mean, that's very fulfilling for 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 me. Um, and, and I don't want to let people down who are relying on my communication skills. Well, I've always been a type A personality. And that's good in this field because you really have to be on top of things and, and, and pay attention to those small details. Um, uh, I'm also full of weird stories, and uh, that doesn't mean I'm weird, but maybe just a little. But I'm full of weird stories from watching all of these newscasts, not watching them, but, but captioning them. Um, 
my a lot of my days revolve around newscasts. I'll start at 4.30 in the morning, and some days I am doing the 11 o'clock at night, but I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm full of weird stories and facts, and uh, sometimes I might be a little more cautious than some other people because I do also hear my fair share of crime stories. That concludes the questions, and um, I thank you for listening, and should you choose the field of stenography, I wish you the many, many, all the successes I've had and many, many more. So thank you for listening. Bye.